Hello all, welcome to Sivan's SAP SD training in association with uh, AMB IT Services and Technologies. In this session, I would like to explain about the STO process. STO means stock transport orders. It is an SD and MM integration part. It is the, the process is same in both ECC and S4 HANA. Normally, the interview question would be like, can you please explain about the STO process? Or would you know about the STO process as a special business processes, as part of special business processes? So that time we need to explain about the yes, we know about the STO process and how it works like and the functionality. Let us see what happens in the STO process. STO means stock transport order. There are two types of STO processes. One is intra-company STO. The another one is intra-company STO. Intra-company STO means the stock transfer happens between two plants or storage locations under the same company code. Intra-company STO means the stock transfer happens between two plants or storage locations between two company cores. So in this process, there are like delivery type, schedule and category, item category, movement type, one step procedure, and movement type, two step procedure plays a vital role. How they play a vital role in this process, let us see. During the intra-company STO, the delivery type will be automatically determined based on the item category, delivery item category determination as NL. The schedule and category is NN, the item category is NLN. When it is a one-step procedure, the movement type will be automatically proposed by the system. It is from the schedule and category, that is 647. If it is two-step two procedure, then the movement type is 641. That means the schedule lines are the base to create the STO process. So in this complete session, we are going to see the intra-company STO. That means the stock transfer happens between two plants of their own storage locations. In the intra-company STO, the delivery type would be like NLCC. And then the item, the schedule and category is NC, the item category is NLC. In this case, the movement type is 645 in one step procedure and 643 in two-step procedure. What is this one-step and two-step procedures? Why we require this one-step as well as two-step procedures? One-step procedure means the stock updating take, takes place both the plants at a time. In two-step procedure, the stock updating takes place after the micro is done, that is goods receipt is done. Here is the screenshot of the schedule and category for the intra-company STO process and the intra-company STO process. Here we can see that the one-step procedure in the intra-company STO, the system will automatically propose as 647. In the two-step procedure, the system will automatically propose the movement type as 641. In the intra-company STO, in the schedule and category, the one-step procedure is 645 and the two-step procedure is 643. Let us see in the system so that we will clearly understand about the STO process. One-step procedure, yes, this is the one like the stock updating takes place in both the plants at a time. There is no MIGO or goods receipt is required. We no need to perform the MIGO transaction. Whereas in two-step procedure, the stock updating will not happen till we do the MIGO. That is, like especially when there is a um, distance is less between the two plants, then we won't uh, <coughs> do MIGO because the stock updating, the stock will be transferred immediately and they will deliver it to the uh, receiving plant immediately. Whereas there is a, the, the stock transfer between two plants, where there is a uh, the distance is more so than the time, definitely it will take time. So that for that, we need to have the MIGO transaction in place. So 
we can see the stock in transit also using the transaction code MB5T. And all the transaction codes like M M MB5T, MMB, everything we will see in the system so that we will clearly understand them and then we will explain them during our interview processes. So here the moment type is nothing but physical or logical moment of a material leading to a change in the inventory or the stock extraction from the plant. Once the PJ is done, then definitely the inventory will come down. The customer will re customer's inventory will go up. That is the, the, sing the same thing we are going to see in the system. Here, first we create a purchase order using the document type UB, stock transport order. And whenever there is a two-step procedure is involved, then the stock in transit can be seen using the transaction code MB5T. And to see the stock overview of the both the plants, supplying plant as well as the receiving plant, we will be using the transaction code MMB, the stock overview. Once the STO purchase order is created, then we will do the outbound delivery using the transaction code VL10B. With reference to PO, we will create that one. So here, to create an outbound delivery, we must have a ship to party. The system will not identify a plant as a custom. Hence, we need to define the supplying plant as well as the receiving plant as a ship to parties so that the system will automatically identify that yes, there is a customer as a ship to party so that we can deliver the goods to the end customer though that particular customer is is a plant as a, maybe a receiving plant or maybe a supplying plant that we will see here here we can see the plant is z750 is a plant hyderabad is a supplying plant with the sales area and we can define them uh, using the path like uh, in the implementation uh, guide like mm purchasing purchase order set up stock transport order and define shipping data for plants here we will define the supplying plant as well as the receiving plant who are the supplying plant or who are the receiving plant we must create this plant as a customer and then we will assign it to the customer plant customer number into the receiving party as well as the customer number of the plant in the supplying plant in the both the plants we need to assign them so that the system will automatically propose in the VL10B, that is uh, delivery document creation with reference to the purchase order, purchase order past, past display, so that we will be able to create them in the system. So we, we must also have some sort of settings like um, supplying plant as well as the receiving plant with one step procedure. If it is activated, then the stock updating will take place in both the plants at a time. If in this case, if the one step procedure is not activated, then the system will consider it as a two step procedure. That also we will see in the system and then stock in transit. Also, we need to do the setting like assign delivery type and the checking rule to the purchasing document type UB. So, we need to assign the supplying plan as well as the delivery type. It is a replenishment and the scheduled delivery. So, based on these settings, if we do then only the system will automatically propose all these processes whether it is a one-step procedure or a two-step procedure and then the system will uh, come to know that whether we the system has to pick up the moment type for one-step procedure or moment type for two-step procedure let us see in the system so that you will be able to completely understand how the sto process happens I've just created in recent uh, del outbound delivery with the complete process. Let us see what happens here. So in the purchase, this is the purchase order which I have created with the header details, organizational data, and then followed by the item overview. Here, in place of um, vendor, we will be receiving 
supplying plant when we choose the option as the purchasing document type as STO, UB. So that time the system will automatically propose you have to enter the supplying plant. And in the item overview screen, where we have to specify the material as well as the receiving plant and receiving storage location. The item details, we, we can, here we can see the purchase order history, the goods received, goods issue will happen, and then delivery note will be created. All these details as well as the, the system will propose the performa invoice. There is no standard invoice will be created. And the material data conditions, everything will be picked up automatically based on our uh, backend settings. Let us see, and then we will create one complete scenario. And then first we will see the settings, whether it is in, in uh, one step procedure or in two step procedure, let us go and see. Under the materials management, purchasing, Purchase order, set up stock transport order. Here we are going to define the stock transport happens between two plants that is Z750 and Z751. So first um, we will see the plan, how we have created the shipping data. So this is the one which is happening. The stock transfer is happening between two plants like plant Hyderabad and plant Sikandrabad. So Z750 we created as a customer, as a plant, plant as a customer. So if we go and see in the XD03 transaction, customer master data. So we will come to know that it is a supplying plan. The similar way, 527. So it is a receiving plan. So like this, we will be able to see that the supplying plan as well as, well as the receiving plan as a customer. So that the system will identify when we created outboard delivery so that time, the system will identify that who is the supplying plant and who is the receiving plant, who is the customer. So based on that one, the system will access. So this is about the supplying plant as well as the receiving plant, which we need to define them in the system. Then followed by checking rule. So it is like uh, 01 or 02 checking rule, 02, whatever it is, SD delivery, normally we use it. ASD order, define checking rule. Here also we can see that daily requirements or collective requirements, whatever it is, SD order or SD delivery. These two details we will check. This is this comes under the available to check control. And here we can see that assign delivery type and checking rule. So the delivery type to the purchase order UB and the supplying plan get 750 which is the delivery type, it is NL. So in that, in this case, so this is the one and the replenishment delivery will happen. This is the checking rule RP in STO process. And this is the one which makes a lot of difference, especially whether, it, whether the STO is one step procedure or two step procedure with the under delivery tolerance. Here we can see the supplying plant as Z750 and the receiving plant as Z751. Here I have not selected the one-step procedure. I am going to activate it as one-step procedure and then I am saving it. So now this particular setting is completed. Let us go and see first the material. So this is the one. 
and let us see first the quantity between two plants. Go to MMBE transaction. Jet seven five zero and okay, jet seven five zero. We will see. So here, which is the batch number five eighty four, it is having three fifty units, and with the batch number, it is six fifty six. It is thousand units. So let us see for the seven fifty one plant seven five one. MMB here with the batch number it is having 541 units so let us uh, let us transfer 50 units or whatever may be the quantity if you transfer from that plant 750 to 751 it will have 591 as the received quantity so first, let us have to create the purchase order. Go to the transaction ME21N. Select the document type as UB. Specify the supplying plant and your organizational data, purchasing organizational data. Then go to item overview. Specify the material and quantity 50 each so the plant we are receiving this is the supplying plant in place of vendor it has come as supplying plant and the receiving plant is z751 and the storage location is also z751 it has accepted everything has, has been accepted by the system because of the perfect settings in the back end so there is no purchase document history will come because we have not yet completed the say, creation of the purchase order. Let us save it. The purchase order got created. Please note it down. Then Go to purchase order first display, VL10B. Specify the purchase order and then execute. So here we are. If at all you wanted to see the outbound delivery, here we can see. And then it is being selected, select all. And then click on background. The purchase order got created, the outbound delivery got created. So let us see. Yes, now the outbound delivery got created. So this is the one. This for this we need to do the PGI. So in this case, we can notice that. The receiving plant has been created as a customer and then the system has identified during the outbound delivery creation and then it has proposed the ship to party because we have done the setting plant as a customer. Now we need to do the PGI, go to VL02N. So select these stocks, go to picking, specify 50 quantity. And then the batch number is 584. So when we select that one, from here, this is the supplying plant. It will, it will, uh, it will reduce up to, from 350 to 300. So when we do the PGA, the outbound delivery got saved, and let us see the impact. In this particular plant. The supplying plant, the stock has been reduced from 350 to 300 in the particular batch number. And let us see in the receiving plant, it should be 591. 
here it is 591 that means the stock updation has been taken place in a single go because of the moment type and one step procedure 647 this is how it happens so <clears throat> when we wanted to when we try to create the out invoice for this particular sales uh, outbound delivery let us see If the system will automatically will not automatically propose the outbound delivery here. If you press enter, the system will automatically propose the performa invoice for delivery. The system will not propose the standard invoice because it is happening between two plants, plant as a customer. So it is not the it is not at all relevant for the uh, invoice. So let us save it. The system will automatically propose the invoice number. Let us see the document flow how it has been created the purchase order has been created then the outbound delivery got created and then the form invoice got created everything got completed so this is the one step procedure so this is about the one step procedure now let us see the two step procedure so we need to make the change in in the settings in the purchasing view let us go to spro screen materials management purchasing and purchase order set up stock transport order go to assign document type once the procedure so it is already opened by us so here we are already and then remove the one step procedure and then save it so now again we have to do the same process like creating the uh, purchase order me21n it is sto specify the supplying plan And then go to the item overview, specify the material, and then PO quantity. So let us see what exactly the difference. The supplying plant is having 300, and the receiving plant is having 591. In two step procedure, we will make it as um, 600. So we will only do the STO of nine units from the supplying plant that time we can notice this one the receiving plant is z751 and storage location z751 press enter so no problem let us check there, there are no messages issued during the check then we can post it the purchase order got created so we have to observe the quantity we are going to do uh, we have taken as uh, 50 only let us see then we 22 n So I have taken 50 units. I will change it to nine units and saving it. <clears throat> so now the supplying plant is having 300 units. If you minus it nine, it should be 291. The receiving plant must have 600 units after the MIGO, the goods received. So then the same thing we can see in the um, stock in transit slash and vl 10b we have to do the outbound delivery with reference to the purchase order go to the purchase order so this is the one oh yes execute so 
select this entire thing and then click on background. See the outbound delivery got created. So go to the change mode of the outbound delivery. The batch number must remain same. And then do the post goods issue. So let us check the supplying plant, 300. So minus nine, it is 291. However, there will not be any change, difference in the uh, receiving plant because it will be there in the stock in transit. Let us go to MB5T. Unless and until we do the MIGO, it will not be MB5T. So this is the receiving plant. If you specify, if you execute this, so this is the one stock in transit is nine units so unless and until we do my go it will not become zero so then go back migo my go transaction goods receipt with outbound delivery yes press enter and here how much it is happening you can see the quantity nine units where it is it should go to the Z751 purchase order data partner, including the batch number, all the all those details will be populated. Click on item OK, check, continue, no issues, and post. Once we do the MIGO transaction, the stock in transit. It will disappear and the receiving plant, it will become 600. So this is the two-step procedure. However, if at all you wanted to create an invoice, it will automatically take us to the pro forma invoice. Save it. So we will see the document flow. You can see here, we have created purchase order with reference to purchase order. Replenishment delivery has been created. And this is how the document flow looks like. The pro forma invoice has been created. This is the complete process of the STO, especially in the intra-company STO. By following the same uh, process, you also can create the intra-company STO process of your own. The process remains same. The settings must be like you have to create two plans under the different company codes and then try to execute the transaction. But both the plans must be created as a customers whenever you are doing the STO process during the stock transport process. Knowledge sharing never ends. Thank you all. Have a nice day.